Alright, and we're back. So, let's speak to Khan here about the bull's head. How did you escape from the bull's head? Yeah. It is a long walk from the cliff of the bull to the village Stobart. Fortunately, I know the ways of the wilderness. Mm. Also, I have a sister who keeps a garage just around the corner. That was handy. All right, well, uh, thanks for playing, Khan. We'll see you later. May Allah guide you to our enemies. Thanks. Yeah. One last thing. Yes? What? Oh. What is it? I don't think... He's we... dead. Yeah. I, I think we can tell that from the blood on his... <laughs> George, do you want to speak to him? I don't know. The guy was a professional killer. The last thing he deserved was sympathy. I had to admit it, though. I was sorry he'd ended up this way. Especially, uh, you know, with the whole thing. Nico looked Damn. good. Even in robes. That's not talking to her, but hey, look, we have an axe. Don't even think about it, George. But... What? Who? Look me straight in the eye and tell me you weren't thinking of using that axe on Eklund. No! Don't be foolish, woman. I was gonna use it on you. <laughs> Don't even. Uh, what? Who? Look me. Don't be fool. I was gonna use. Yeah, like you need help. Nico looked good. The rear exit was barred. Nico looked good. Ah. Uh, even in ropes. Is that a key? No. Underneath that heap of tumbled crates was Eklund. I wasn't about to help him out. Mm. All right, talk to Nico. Nico looked good. That's not talking to Nico. But oh, that's all I have. Don't even. What? Look me. Don't be foolish. I was gonna use it. I still thought it a good idea to take the axe to Eklund while he was down. I guess check Underneath out. that heap of tumbled cr. Uh, fine. Underneath that. Well, what am I supposed to do? I don't have anything to cut. Oh. <laughs> It was a fire. I can see it's a fire extinguisher. How are we supposed to help Nico? We can't even Nico speak look to Nico. Nico, look. Don't even. No. What? Who? Look me. Don't be fool. I was going to use. Uh. I'm going to leave you behind. See ya. Where do you... Don't worry. I hadn't forgotten about you. Answer me this instant, George Stobart. I will. When I'm ready. Well, I plan to, but... Oh. Okay, thank you, George. Oh, that's not fair, George. No. What? You took advantage while my hands were tied. Oh. Mecca pointed that gun at me. I thought I was going to die. Well, you did I thought twice. of all the things I'd never get to do. I'm kissing you. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Josh? Uh huh? Josh, we've got to get off the train. Yes. Eklund could recover at any time. So what are we waiting for? You should take the gun with you. All right, come on. What are you doing? I'm out of here. Not that dog. Not especially. What remains of him is well on his way back to London. Okay. I hope he was traveling on a return <laughs> ticket. You could have told me that, but I will. Come on, come on, Nico, through here. Oh, several minutes later. It's a good walk. Alright, kids. We're at St. Ninian's. Just what we always wanted to be. What? Just always what we wanted to be? Just where we always wanted to be. What's the sign say, George? I'm guessing that's a sign. I'd feel happier if we had a gun or something. Khan gave me something. What? His handbag. Oh. oh, great. If we run into any killers, we can give him a good buffeting. Didn't he have any weapons? You don't know the half of it. This bag's full of C4. Oh. Wow. Why didn't you say so? Boy, we'll show him now. What's C4? Plastic, oh. Josh. Can't We're going to shop our way to victory? Two kilos of plastic oh. is 
The detonator's broken, though. No problem. We'll buy a box of matches somewhere. It doesn't work that way. It takes a small explosion Whoa. to start the big explosion. That music was well, that's crazy. not much use, then. What does that sign say? Apparently, during the English Civil War in the mid-17th century... Wait, we're in Scotland. It should be in English. ...was used as an arms dump. Yeah? What happened? Look at the state of this place, George. You work it out. Oh, stray spark? You got it. The tower was the only thing to survive the blast. I hope the explosion didn't destroy the sword of Baphomet. Do you? I rather hope it did. Maybe that's how it got broken. It was just about recognizable as the church I'd seen reflected in the chalice. Okay. Templars, roundheads and cavaliers. This place has seen a lot of history. Okay, cool. Go through the door. Come on, Nico. Bring your shoes with you. Your bright blue shoes with your purple dress. Alright, let's have a look at this junk. What have we got? I scrabbled around in the rubble and found an old clay pipe with a broken stem. Helpful. Keep looking. Under one of the stones, I found a metal coin which was green with age. Ooh. Keep looking. It was caked with soil, but what I'd found was a small cog and spindle. Ooh. And again? With mounting excitement, I felt something between my fingers. Oh. It was short, hard, Whew. and black. Something I hadn't expected to find here. It was a plastic pen top. Ooh, you don't want to know what I was thinking. All right, so we've got these dudes and this thing. And... Examining the demon more closely, I realized something about its face. What about it? It was face? a clever illusion. No matter where I stood, the eyes weren't looking at me. Ooh, there was a trippy. simple reason. The demon didn't have any eyes. Oh, well then that's not very as trippy anymore. I have a feeling we need to do this. Okay. All right, let's have a little fiddle with this then. The handle turned easily and the larger wheel began to revolve. Ooh, surely this will do something awesome like open the door. Damn, then the handle came off in my hand. Oh, George. Yeah, hey, free more Now cogs. that the handle was gone, it was easy to remove the cog and spindle. Just what I always wanted to do. So, let's have a little talk to Nico. Nico? I mean, uh -huh. I know what to do, but might as well. Now that she's my girlfriend. What are you doing? Committing this inscription to memory. Okay. Can you read it? No. Oh, huh. that, that's nice. What's the point of studying the inscription if you can't read it? To tell because Andre? Because it could be important. A clue to whatever we're looking for, who knows? I might find someone in Stalin to translate it. We don't have time to go looking <laughs> for linguists. No? At least I am doing something positive. Yeah, you're just breaking stuff. What language is that inscription written in? You're the language student, you tell me. I am? It looks like ancient Norse. Maybe. Maybe. Perhaps it's in code. I don't think so. Norse code? <laughs> Norse code? Oh, goodness. Uh, no. She, she doesn't want to see my nose anymore? Any suggestions what I could do with this cog? Stick well, it up your... Uh, oh, I think that may be where she was going. Any suggestions? Well. Well. Hmm. Maybe not. She doesn't like my crank? What about my coin? Look, I found an old coin. You think it's worth anything? Josh, focus on the situation at hand, please. Oh, what about this? Look what I found buried in the rubble. It's a plastic pen top. You yeah. bet. Amazing, isn't it? Finding something so mundane in a place like this. Astounding. Let me know if you find any paper clips. I will. Look, a pipe. Nico, I found an old clay pipe. Josh, I don't care. You, you don't? Uh, okay. I guess I'll... 